let's see a C program in order to calculate GCD and LCM of two numbers. GCD can also be called as HCF. GCD stands for greatest common divisor, whereas HCF stands for highest common factor. So here we have to find out the greatest common divisor. That is nothing but greatest common factor. Uh, first, let's see the examples, and then we will see the program. Uh, let the first number is ten. Second number is thirty. For calculating GCD, we have to find out the factors for ten. So one is a factor. Why? Because one into ten equal to ten. Next to two is a factor. Two into five equal to ten. Three, four are not factors. Five is a factor. Five into two equal to ten. Six to nine are not factors. Whereas ten is a factor. So likewise, the factors for thirty are one, two, three. Four is not a factor. Five is a factor. Six is a factor. Ten is a factor. Actually, here there is no need to find the factors for other than ten. So beyond ten, that means fifteen, thirty. Why? Because here we have to find out the common factor. So here the common factor must be less than or equal to ten only. So there is no need to find fifteen and thirty. So if we observe the factors here, here the common factors are one, two, five, and ten are the common factors. So out of one, two, five, and ten, which is the greatest number? Which is the highest number? Ten. Ten is the highest number. So we can say that GCD is ten. Likewise, let us uh, find the uh, LCM. LCM stands for least common multiple. So for that, we have to find the uh, uh, multiples of ten as well as multiples of thirty. Why? Because here the numbers are ten and thirty. So the multiples of ten are ten multiplication table. So ten, ten into two equal to twenty. Ten into three equal to thirty. Likewise, forty, fifty, sixty, etc. Likewise, the multiples of thirty are thirty multiplication table. So thirty into one equal to thirty. Thirty into two equal to sixty. Likewise, so sixty, ninety, etc. Here, out of uh, all these uh, factors, uh, out of all these numbers, we have to find the common multiples. So here, the common multiples are. Uh, if you take these numbers, thirty and sixty are the common multiples. So out of thirty and sixty, which is the least number? Thirty is the least number. So the LCM of ten and thirty is. 30. Why? Because 30 is the least number. So for that, here what we are doing is uh, we are calculating the LCM based upon the GCD. So LCM equal to the formula for LCM based on GCD is numerator is n1 into n2, whereas denominator is GCD. So here what is n1 value in the first example? So 10. What is n2 value? 30. So 10 into 30 means 300. So 300 by 10 means That is division operator. It always gives quotient. So 30 is the result. Likewise, let us see the second example. N1 equal to 6. So the factors for 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Whereas the factors for 9 are 1, 3, and 9. These those are the factors. Uh, so here the common factors are 1, 3 are the common factors. So out of 1, 3, which is the greatest number? 3 is the greatest number. So we can say that GCD of 6 and 9 is 3. Likewise, let us find out the LCM of six and nine. So here, for six, the multiples are six multiplication table: six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, etc. Likewise, the multiples of nine are nine multiplication table: so nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, forty-five, etc. So here, what are the common multiples? Uh, what are the common multiples? Eighteen is the common multiple. Yeah, we have only one common multiple. Uh, if we have more than one multiple, also. So we have to take the least number. So here the least common multiple is 18. So we can say that LCM of 6 and 9 is 18. So here what we are doing is in this program we are calculating the LCM based upon the GCD. So the formula is n1 into n2 by GCD. So n1 into n2 that is numerator. So you must place within the parentheses. So 6 into 9 by 13. 6 into 9 means 54. 54 by 3 means 18. So LCM of 6 and 9 is 18. Now let us see the logic. So for i equal to 0, i here the minimum factor 
for any number is 1. Here this is the logic for GCD. We are calculating LCM based on the GCD. So the minimum factor for any number is 1. So we have to start from 1. Next what is the condition? I less than or equal to N1 double and I less than or equal to N2. So both the conditions must be true. Why? Because here we are finding the common factors. So when one of the condition is false, then there is no need to find the remaining factors. So that's why we are using logical and operator. So let us trace with uh, the first example that is N1 is 10 and uh, N2 is uh, 30. So for I equal to 1, I less than or equal to N1. So 1 less than or equal to what is N1? 10 and uh, I less than or equal to N2. What is I value? 1. 1 less than or equal to 30. So, both the conditions are true. So, logical end will return true as the result. So, the body will be executed. So, what is the condition? 10 modulo 1. Why? Because N1 value is 10. Next, 30 modulo 1. Both the conditions are true. So, the body of if will be executed. So, GCD equal to 1. Next, I plus plus. So, now I will become 2. So, next, what are the conditions? 2 less than or equal to 10, 2 less than or equal to 30. Both the conditions are true. So, the body of the fur will be executed. 10 modulo 2, the result is 0. 30 modulo 2, the result is 0. So, now GCD will contain 2. Next, I plus plus. I will become 3. 3 less than or equal to 10, condition is true. Next, 3 less than or equal to 30, condition is true. But 10 modulo 3, what is the result? Modulo will always give reminder. The result is 1. So, the condition is false. So, when one condition is false, then there is no need to check the second condition. Why? Because here we are using the logical end operator. Here we are finding the common factors. One is a common factor. Two is a common factor. So, here we, we are finding the common factors. So, there is no need to check the second condition. So, the entire expression is false. So, GCD, GCD equal to I that will not be executed. Next, I plus plus. So, I will become 4. So, 4 less than or equal to 10, 4 less than or equal to 30. Both the conditions are true. Next, 10 modulo 4, condition is false. So, we can say that 4 is not a factor to the first number. So, there is no need to check the next condition. Next, I plus plus. So, I will become 5. So, 10 modulo 5, yes, the condition is true. Next, 30 modulo 5, yes, the condition is true. So, both the conditions are true. So, that means 5 is a common factor. So, GCD will become 5 now. Next to what will happen? 6, 10 modulo 6, false. 7, false. 8, false. 9, false. Next to 10, the condition is true. 10 modulo 10, yes, 10 is a factor. 30 modulo 10, yes, that is also true. So, both the conditions are true. So, now what will happen? GCD will contain now 10. So, GCD will contain 10 now. Next to I plus plus, now I will become 11. Now, what is the condition? 11 is less than or equal to what is N1? 10. 11 less than or equal to 10. Condition is false. 11 less than or equal to 10. Condition is false. So, the logical end operator returns false. So, control comes out from the for loop. So, what is GCD value? So, now GCD contains 10. So, so now 10 will be displayed as the result. Now, let us calculate the LCM. What is the formula for LCM? N1 into N2 by GCD. What is N1? 10. What is N2? 30. So, 10 into 30 means 300. 300 by what is GCD? 10. So, 300 by 10 means 30 is the output. Now, let us see the program execution. Let us see the program execution. Enter two numbers. So, this is our program. Uh, let the first number is 10, second number is 30. So, now what is GCD? GCD is what is GCD? GCD is 10, whereas LCM is 30. Yeah, let us uh, give the inputs one more time. So, GCD is 10, LCM is 30. Likewise, uh, uh, let us run the program for the second input also, 6, 9. So, GCD is 3, LCM is 18. GCD is 3, LCM is 18. So, in this way, we can calculate GCD and LCM. Here, we are calculating the LCM based upon the GCD.